Hello everyone, hope you're all having a lovely day today. I hope you all had a happy Thanksgiving if you do celebrate. I feel like I don't say this enough, but I am super, super, super thankful and blessed for every single one of you here. It's so amazing having this family on YouTube and I'm so thankful for each and every one of you guys. Really quick before I begin, um, two prayer requests. One for a brother in Christ who uh, reached out to me recently um, requesting prayer for his mother who is currently in the hospital. Um, prayers for that brother will be greatly appreciated. Also another brother in Christ, uh, their father's actually in the ER. Um, so prayers for his father will be greatly appreciated as well. I always say at the end of my videos, if you guys have any prayer requests, please let me know. And I recently have kind of seen the healing power in prayer and kind of the power of prayer. Um, so like I always say, if you guys ever have any of those prayer requests, just let me know either in the comments below or email. But anyway, getting into today's video, um, I actually had a very different video planned for today. I really wanted to talk about the importance of being a platypus rather than a chameleon. I know you might be raising your eyebrows right now being like, what the heck are you talking about? I promise it will make sense. Bear with me. <laughs> that will probably be coming out later that might be my next video but it will it will make sense i promise but today i actually wanted to talk about this kind of idea of us bringing god into the world what do i mean by that god is a god who doesn't just sit back watch and like just let things happen he doesn't just sit back and be like oh well they screwed themselves oh well god moves in the world and one of the ways in which God moves in the world is through us. We have the Holy Spirit in us. We're called temples of the Holy Spirit. And that is a part of God. And when we allow God to work through us, we are in a way, in a sense, bringing God into the world. I was reading for one of my uh, classes recently um, about how, you know, we are more than just trying to, you know, preach the gospel to everybody. Obviously, we preach the gospel all day, every day, trying to get as many people saved as possible. But we're more than just soul winners. We also are people who try to, like I said, show God, show the goodness of God to people, show the character of God to people through our own actions. If you saw my last video where I talked about how um, our lives are a very witness, that's kind of a part of that. We might not always be the person to preach the gospel to certain individuals, but we might be the person to show them the goodness of God through our compassion or our kindness or our patience and love. Most importantly, love. And it really just got me thinking. I I, I, I feel like this video isn't really a teaching video as much as is like just kind of me having this realization and wanting to share it with you guys. Because I, I was just pondering this and I was like, wow, yeah, like we kind of are in a way like bringing God into the world when we live for him. You know, we don't just sit back a lot of the times. You know, even when we feel like we're not doing anything for the Lord, God can use the smallest things for his glory and for his good. So I hope this video helps whoever needed to hear this. Like I said, it wasn't really a uh, teaching video as much as it was just kind of like me sitting here with my thoughts and being like, oh wow, wouldn't that be like, that? that's just such a cool idea and such a cool uh, concept, and not only concept, but kind of, I guess, reality, because when I was reading it and thinking about it, it really does make sense. You know, in the book of James, it talks about, you know, showing our faith. You know, I'll show you my faith by my works. And this idea, I don't know, like I said, it just really was, this kind of got me thinking about that and how, I, I don't know, sorry. <laughs> so as I said before, hope you guys all had a lovely Thanksgiving. Um, if you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, or prayer requests, make sure to leave those down in the comments below or shoot me an email. Also, I have an Instagram for this channel where I give updates about this channel, as well as make fun little artsy Bible verses. If you want to follow that, that'll be down here as well. And as always, have a lovely rest of your day and God bless.